DeWalt came out with a new 20 volt XR 8 inch pruner. It's model number DCCS623. I got in a kit which comes with a 3 amp hour battery and a charger that ends in L1. The design of DeWalt's 8 inch pruner is very familiar and similar to other models on the market. You have a guard up front to put your hand through, a nice DeWalt grip, variable speed trigger, battery goes in back, oil container on the left, tensioner bolt over here on the right with the tensioner screw up front. Now what you're saying is, wait a minute, what's this guard up here for? Now DeWalt put this here for two reasons. First is going to be so when you're trimming branches in a tree that you don't inadvertently hit the end of this chain on another branch and end up with kickback. Totally works great, makes sense, and it works good in that capacity. The second reason it's here is if you're cutting near the ground on an angle, it will help to keep this out of the dirt and keep your chain sharp. I get that. The only thing it hinders is if you're gonna use this as a large chainsaw to buck wood and try to cut things up. If you get a large enough piece of wood that you're cutting, it will actually stop you from going all the way through or you won't be able to make a half a cut. And that in itself kind of makes sense for the saw because it's a pruning saw. So I actually thought I was gonna dislike it in the beginning, but as I started to use the saw, I actually do like having it there because you can reach the saw through the trees and if it's running and you're moving it around, it does keep things away, but it also doesn't hinder you and you don't feel like it is in the way. Might not be for everyone, but it doesn't bother me. One thing I really liked about this saw was the speed of the chain. It comes in at somewhere around 516 meters per minute. That's somewhere in the realm of 1,692 feet per minute. It's fast and it's faster than some of the others that I've seen out there on the market. And it didn't feel like I had to use bucking spikes, and these are plastic on this model, to actually cut through a lot of the items. Now here I'm cutting through birch and poplar, so I'm not cutting super hard woods. And that might make a little bit of a difference, but as it was being used here, it was excellent. Now the one issue I did have with it was the chips kind of binding up here inside this guard. And every once in a while you'd go to uh, start the saw and it wouldn't start. It, you'd have to kind of clear out the chips or it would bind up and stop in the middle of a cut. And it wasn't because there was too much pressure on the chain, it was because there's a lot of chips that were binding up inside of this cover. Not a big deal. I think that has to do a little bit with the amount of oil that's coming out. Could be my oil that I'm using, but with that said, those chips from that softer wood tended to kind of bunch themselves up and stop this saw more than normal. While I was cutting, I wanted to use the three amp hour battery quite a bit, and I was actually very, very surprised on how many cuts you could get with a three amp hour battery without it draining it down nearly at all. And again, I'm cutting birch with the three amp hour battery. And at one point in time, when I first did get the first clog, I'll say, of chips in here, I actually thought I had burned up the whole battery, but when I hit and looked at the fuel meter, it was still completely full. Switched over to a six amp hour DeWalt battery just to see if I could notice any difference in power. And oddly enough, I really didn't. It really didn't seem like it was going to soak up or suck up any more of the extra amps that might be available in this. So realistically, this is probably just fine with one of the smaller batteries out there on the market and it will work just fine. Five amp hour would probably be just perfect in this to give you a lot of runtime. DeWalt claims 70 cuts uh, with this three amp hour battery on a standard treated four x four. Out in the woods, that's gonna be probably different depending what you're gonna cut, but I can really see this running a long time. As a pruning saw, I really like the chain speed that they have going here. This tool, bare tool, weighs 4.6 pounds. It's got a great grip, easy to hold on to, either with your second hand in the front or sometimes behind in the battery. The only problem I had was with gloves. Sometimes I had a hard time reaching that safety and making sure it was completely depressed to get the trigger pulled, but not a problem. The one downside that I see with this saw is that in order to use the shield over top of the chain, you have to have it fold open and then it folds closed like that. 
then when you open this scabbard up, it's not really a scabbard, but at the same time, your tool for adjusting anything is on the inside. That means most likely this is not with you because you took it off to go use it. So the tool is not located on the tool and it doesn't allow you to tighten or loosen anything up while you're in the field. Now this is basically just very simple, but since this was clogging up a little bit, I want to take it apart and just take a look at what's going on on the inside. And oddly enough, when we look at it here, there is nothing in here. And it's just a, a weird coincidence as to sometime when you're cutting and sometimes it seemed when you were maybe on the flat a little bit more that the chips wouldn't come out with gravity or if it was a difference of where you had the bottom placed, I, I don't know, but this definitely works well as far as the oil or anything else. And as long as you're cutting up and down, you probably will never have a problem like I did. But I was pushing this a little bit with larger wood, just trying to see how this was gonna cut with different um, materials and basically full capacity cuts. As a pruning saw, I don't see that this is gonna be used in that capacity. Now the other part is you have your tensioner screw up front, which is not a big deal pretty easy to get in there and use, just a little bit different than what you're used to. If you're thinking you might wanna take a look at how this guard is attached, you can see here they have some screws that they don't really want you to remove. But I'm sure if you're handy enough, you could probably do that if you had some other use or some other way of using this saw other than what it was designed. But I'm sure DeWalt does not want you to do that. Overall, I really think this is a great pruning saw and I think the faster chain speed makes it cut a little bit easier while you're pruning, but you might lose out on a little bit of that torque. So if you're gonna use this on consistent six to eight inch branches, you're gonna run into problems, not only with a little bit of the torque that you need to keep that chain going, and you might have a few cutouts, but you also might run into this guard getting in your way in the end. So if you use this as you would normally, somewhere between a small branch and upwards of a six inch branch, you'll have no issue with what you're cutting. You'll probably really enjoy it. The speed, there's no need to force it through. There's really no need for metal bucking spikes in here. Everything seemed to just go through like butter and I really like that. There's a lot of different places for you to hang on to this with and I like the fact that everything here is got a rubber overmold, easy to hang on to. And just like everything else, if you're wearing gloves, you know, the, the safeties mechanism here probably could be a little bit larger, but I think that most people are gonna use this barehanded and just rock and roll with it. Cool tool, I really like what they have coming out here. I'm very interested in your comments, mostly on this guard on the end. What do you guys feel about that? I know you haven't used it yet, and I probably would have some pretty strong opinions about it in the beginning, but I'll tell you after using it, it's really not that big of a deal. Actually, it's really nice. It's not something that you uh, would think you would want in this, but there's definitely a use. Comments below. Give us a like in this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.